So I started working on making an echolocation game. Refer to the first video I made about the reasons for making the game. Here I'll show the build log for the first few sessions that I made, what it looks like after each session. In the first session, I drew a few circles and I made the particles fly from the bat outward and they bounce back 180 degrees off the circles. But this is a little bit primitive. In the second session, the reflections now leave lingering particles so the bat can quote-unquote see by echolocation. And the bat now has a heading and it can be controlled with the mouse. I kind of like the way the bat follows the mouse, so I'm going to talk more about that later. And I also added a few more circles. I also played with changing the speed of sound. Here I made it a little bit slower. And the chirp from the bat is about 180 degrees wide and it aims at the mouse cursor. So the game mechanics are kind of working pretty well in the way I want them to go. On the third day, I worked on creating a procedurally generated world of infinite dimension that consists of basically circles of various sizes. In this view, I made the trees just barely visible so you could see them, but in the real gameplay, they won't be visible. Here, the speed of sound is fairly fast and the linger time of the visibility particles is kind of short. I also worked in some bat to tree collision so I could see how the mechanics of that would work. So I've got through four days of this so far and I'm starting to think the nose of that bat is kind of ugly. So the speed of sound again is a little bit slower uh, but you can see there's a big problem in that the CPU bogs down on multiple reflections and the game kind of binds up. The way I coded it was I used object-oriented programming to have each of the chirp particles be an object. And so these chirps are stored as an array of objects, but the calculations are very slow, iterating through a long array of every object. So there can be hundreds of chirp objects, or maybe even thousands, updating every time step, which is one or two hundredths of a second. So I think I need to rewrite this code to run a lot faster. I have an idea to use the Python numpy system to use vectorized calculations. So instead of having an array of objects, I instead need to have a vector that lists all the data to act on. I don't need to completely start over, but I need to mostly start over with the code. Here you can see the game completely froze.